Kiki here. Part of keeping up with uh, everything so the chaos doesn't get out of control is putting away the dishes. So let's unload the dishwasher. Put away the dishes with me. Having clean hands when we put away the dishes is good. It's, it's helps keep us safe and healthy. And we don't need extra chaos of having unneeded sickness. I was talking to someone at my dentist's office and she was talking about how we only need one spatula and it's hard to let go of spatulas if one was from your mom, your grandmother, or somebody like that. Um, so, you know, we can use that idea of the container, which I'm giving credit to Dana K. White. Um, she talks a lot about containerize it. If you have room for it, you can keep it. If it makes it, if it makes you happy, one of the things the fly lady says a lot. If it makes you happy, you know, keep it. And another idea that I've used, uh, I will say one more from Dana K. White, is the reason I have bowls in different places and plates in different places is the idea of seeing making it a little bit harder to reach as many dishes or a little more inconvenient so that you're just a little bit more motivated to just go ahead and keep up with the dishes daily. You know, it makes it as easy to do that as it is to get up on a step stool or go to your garage or basement or wherever and get the extra dishes out. So if you don't have a ton of dishes or you don't have a ton of dishes that are convenient to get to, then it just kind of keeps you on the right track. And it really has helped out a lot. Um, so, you know, you can get different um, tips and ideas from different places. And sometimes you hear similar ideas and then finally it'll, I don't know, absorb into your brain or <laughs> you're like ready for the change or what of, of the, uh, the concept of that change. So, you know, I found that listening to or watching different videos um, on things that uh, I would like to have or processes and routines I would like to have or um, uh, mindsets that I want to kind of retrain my brain thinking, oh, okay, I don't need as much stuff, you know, I, I could declutter. I don't need all this much stuff, you know. Um, just kind of retraining your brain. So that's an idea to help you kind of long term. Um, this change in your mindset helps a lot. Do you ever have your dishwasher not get your dishes as clean as as they should, or you know? I have that problem and so I just I'll, I'll rewash it or I'll wash it some more by hand 
and put it back in here to let it air dry before I stick it in the drawer or the cabinet. Comment below if you have that kind of problem and I think that it's due to something that they took out of the dish soap that goes in our dishwashers. Um, comment below if you agree or if you've heard that too or if you have another theory of why that's happening. But we're not going to let it stop us. We're just going to make a little adjustment and keep moving. When I do the dishes, when you know I'm doing dirty, the dirty dishes and getting them cleaned up, I normally wear gloves because it just helps make it seem like a much more um, doable job. Of, like it's not as unappealing to do if you've got gloves on it to protect you from a lot of the germs and the the, you know, sticky food particles and things. So, you know, little, little things like that can just help make it that much easier to do what you need to do, do what you want to do to help keep things under control. Are you doing your dishes with me or are you just watching me do it? I've been guilty of that before. Hey, no judgment. This channel is no judgment, no perfection. I've watched the clean with me videos before and not cleaned at the same time. And other times I do. I, list, I listen to them while I'm doing the dishes, for instance. I believe that was just a bunch of detergent. My puppy dog likes to play a game with me. He's, he's over here kind of sniffing around. I don't know if he's going to play it today. So just kind of getting into a routine of keeping up with some of these daily tasks. Well, getting to the point where it's a routine or where it comes more naturally and more second nature is it kind of helps us if you kind of, you know, have a routine you're used to going through. Well, you know, it helps with things like putting your keys. If you put your keys in the same place when you come home every day, then most likely you can find them. Unless you were particularly excited or upset or something when you came home, and then maybe you absentmindedly set them down somewhere else. Or, But, you know, what, nine times out of ten, probably, you'll know where they are if you get into that habit, that routine. So it's kind of the same thing with things like the dishes or just getting into sort of a, a mindset and a habit of when you get up from being sitting in your easy chair, whether you're reading, watching TV, watching YouTube, uh, writing, sewing, whatever it is you do, when you get up and go into another room or go into the kitchen, see what trash around you, what empty, uh, what dishes, dirty dishes, what empty cans or bottles, you know, what 
what you can bring with you and throw away or you know rinse off or that kind of stuff and just kind of keep that momentum going with those little things that become habits that kind of just perpetuate that clean house with less chaos beating back the chaos even if you're not completely kicking out the chaos you know you're kind of beating it back into more of a submission right you got less chaos to deal with so it's easier to handle it gets easier and easier now when we're talking about chaos that's not the physical chaos One of the things that can be helpful is just talking with a, a good friend that knows you well. You know, maybe a counselor or therapist, uh, maybe a, a pastor or minister, clergy person. A different perspective can help a lot, um, just talking through things and just getting them out there and having someone else ask sort of objective questions or, you know, ther therapy type questions. You know, is that really going to be the end of the world? Is that happening? What's the worst case? What can we do? You know, what can we do to help prevent the worst case scenario from coming through? Just kind of thinking through and talking through, getting other perspectives and getting other people to help you, um, you know, kind of look at the things that you're dealing with or that you think you're going to be dealing with that seem heavy for you and helping you carry that load a little bit, really, they can support you by not only talking and listening, and helping carry that load some, letting you know that someone else is there with you and there for you. And they also can pray for you. I find if something happens or I'm hearing some news that, you know, it's not good, then one of the ways to keep from kind of drowning in that chaos of worry is to call or text or contact somebody right away that you know is going to pray for you and not only pray for you but you know encourage you so you know just Really just, you know, reach out when you need to reach out. Is there are people in your life that care and they're there to love and support you and assist you. I did talk about, you know, um, asking for assistance in another video. Connected with other people helps a lot. All right, I'm going to let some dry in the dishwasher that needed a little extra to get them completely clean and I would love for you to comment below on anything that I've talked about in this video um, and if you have solutions you know we can help each other if you have solutions to help with the dishwasher doing a good job on the first time you know leave that in the comments I'm sure 
I'm not the only one that has had that happen. And you know, if you enjoy this kind of video, um, let me know that too. Give me a like. If you don't like this video, hey, could you just share it with somebody that you don't really like? Just so we, <laughs> what do you think about that? Hey, you know, getting it out there one way or the other. I'm going to mention another way that can help you in handling the chaos so that you can bring that chaos down or kick it out completely. And it's it's originally from a book. I think the book is called Eat Your Frog. And it was mentioned again recently on I think it was the minimal mom that mentioned it recently. And, you know, do that one thing that you're dreading the most, but it's also the thing that'll make you feel the most productive. If you've got that one big thing done that day, that everything else is gonna seem easier and you're gonna feel accomplished even if something happens to where you don't get anything else done or very many other things on your list done, at least you got the biggest thing that you were dreading the most done so you can feel good about that and then everything else just seems easy in comparison. So you can still feel good about that, right? Um, so please share my videos and I really appreciate you for watching. I thought I would spice it up a little with some YouTube royalty free music that is out there. I do enjoy different kinds of music. Um, yeah, probably have to do a, a video on music helping us through the chaos, right? Well, Thank you for unloading the dishwasher with me, and I'll see you on the next one.